I don't know why it doesn't work the first time I hit it. But. Hello there! Welcome back to the Doctor Who Retrospective. I'm Scotty. You're not. We're looking at Series 3, Episode 3. Good luck! I meant to do 3 and 3. 4 came up for Episode 3. Good luck. And like I said at the end of the last one, this completes a loose trilogy of episodes all focused on this new world thing. Well, I guess the end of the world also connects to... Doesn't it? No, that's... I'm thinking of another one. Never mind. I thought it connected, connected to Bad Wolf and Parting of the Ways, but that's another episode later. But... Later in series one. Uh, but yeah, so... In the end of the world, the doctor, ninth doctor took Rose to see the end of Earth and stuff, and that's where we met Cassandra. New Earth is where we came back to Cassandra. And the reason why it's a loose trilogy is Cassandra's not here, Cassandra's gone. She's gone. And I it, I think it works that they didn't try to bring her back because this is the same kind of situation where he's taking Martha. To New Earth, so it's like he has a thing. Like they always say, he can't control this, but there's got to be something in there, you know. Uh, we saw after the episode in the pre-title sequence of two people in a vehicle of some sort being attacked by something. Typical Doctor Who opening, and then the credits, and then we are in the TARDIS, and uh, so they're prepared to go anywhere. <clears throat> Uh, he, he tells Martha, you know, I said one trip, but, uh, you know what, maybe you can stretch that a little bit. One trip to the past, one trip to the future, which is not true, because we don't go, we, I don't know, but, um, so, he takes her to the future, billions of years into the future, even to a new planet, which is kind of stretching what he was saying. New Earth, a New York, or as he says, uh, it's actually the fifteenth New York, so it's new, 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 New York. But yeah, and we're—it's not like it was before. We're up in the sky. No, we're down in the doldrums. And at first shot, you're like, "Oh, budget, right? Probably." But it also fits the story. And we're down. In his, these doldrums, the, the alleyways and stuff. But, um, Martha suggests, though, to go to Gallifrey, to go where the doctor's from. And he's like, nah, you don't want to go there. And then she's like, was well, it boring? And he, he, the way the David Tennant doctor explains what his planet looks, I don't know how she doesn't figure it out, the way that he's explaining things. Because the way he explains it is of someone who hasn't seen this planet for a long, long time. You know. So she's like, well, can we go there? And he's like, nah, you know, I'm not, I don't want to go home. And so he takes her to the new Earth, new New York. Under the doldrums of new New York. Where people are selling feelings, I guess. Happy, anger, sad, why sadness, I don't know. Well, you buy those, but happy maybe. But it's it's an allegory for drugs, because you know there's happy pills and happy drugs, and all that stuff. You know, my mom, she's taking stuff. She's like, I need a happy pill. It's like a, a, a Vicodin or whatever it is that they give her for the pain. But like, and then Martha gets kidnapped by these two people. We find out not criminals. No, they need to get on the fast lane and it always confuses me that the fast lane so here's this here here's the thing they go there's pharmacy town is where it is where they're at i guess there's different locations but they also say that the furthest they go there's something else down there we find out there are creatures called macros living underneath they're feeding off people i guess it's never really explained why they're there. They are just there. The doctor explains they used to be sentient, and now they they've devolved into just creatures. But then, when we get the explanation from Novice Haim, 
Well, when the doctor arrives, it cuts the novice hand with the face of Bo, and she, they're like, he's here. He has arrived. We get to the express, expression from novice Haim, where she's like, where she explains what happened. I'll get to it. It never explains why the macros are there. They just are. I don't know. But, so the doctor gives chase, and he ends up on this other motorway, because I guess the motorways are super smog, where you cannot breathe. There's so much exhaust. So, he gets in this place with a cat man, and his wife, and they have children, and the children are just cats. How does that work? I don't want to think about this woman giving birth to cats. I don't know how that works. Wouldn't they be little cat children? One thing I can think of is it's cheaper to get cats. It's easier to get cats than try to get kid actors to put on the, you know. So apparently there's a rule that you have to have three adults, adults, as we say here in America, but it's adults. It's different. In America, it's adults. In Britain, it's adults. And then in Canada, it's adults. 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 Three adult people to go into the the fast lane. So that's why those two kidnap Martha, so they go in the fast lane. But even with the fast lane, it's going to take six years. We find out why, but that's it's just ridiculous. So then the doctor's like, well, there's two people here. Let's go. And like, no, I'm not doing that. Because I think I think they kind of know that there's something, but they want to they won't admit it. So he ends up leaving and going to this other guy's place, but this other a vehicle, and because he's jumping, he has a mask over his face and everything. But they can't go in a fast lane because there's only two people. That's when Novice Haim shows up. She had found her way there somehow. Because he, he, back in the other one, he tried the cops. I won't, cops are always putting him on hold. I do like that uh, the cat guy, he contacts the two old ladies. They, he says they're sisters, and they're like, she's not my sister, she's my wife. Where it's like, even in billions of years on another planet, there are people that will still not accept that kind of situation. And remember, this is 2007. When it wasn't common to have those kind of couples. Russell T. Davis himself is gay. Which is perfectly fine. But at less so than now, he doesn't try to put that in there. This is very subtle. That the two older women living on the, you know, very subtle. I still don't understand the woman gave birth to cats, though. That's just confusing. Anyway, so now the same shows up and she teleports them out of there. Apparently, the only one trip for teleporting. Uh, and that's where we once again see the face of Bo. The uh, novice him explains that there was a new type of feeling called bliss, but apparently it was ended up being some sort of virus that killed off everyone, and they sealed off people in the motorway to protect them. Yeah, uh, the air is now clear; it's dissipated. Face of Bo. Gave, you know, some of his life force. Despite the fact that they said he was dying in the last time we saw him. And it's been, what did it say, 24 years since the last time the doctor was there. I do like when he sees now his famous person, like, oh, no, this time. Then he realizes, oh, wait a minute. You had those people locked up digging there. Wouldn't it have been something? If if this was sort of a prequel to that, and them, that would make sense because they would recognize the doctor. I guess I don't know, but like, I don't know. They could have done something with the eleventh doctor, where he goes to New New York with Amy, continuing that story. But it's before the events of his trip with Rose, so it's like, you know, and he becomes the cause of why they have to. And he realizes that it was his fault. It could be something. But those doctors are so detached that it seems like they're, they're different worlds completely. 
Except for the fact that he does cross over with Sarah Jane and the Sarah Jane Adventures, but he's the only doctor to do that, unfortunately. Probably would have been more, but, you know, the actress passed away. But anyway, so yeah, the face of Bo is still dying, still 24 years later. Uh, sorry. When they showed the first sort of face of Bo, I do get a little, I don't know why. It was just like the doctor meeting the face of Bo again. And, uh, yeah. So, the doctor still wants to get Martha off that speedway because that's when he realizes the macros. He knows the macros are down there, so he's got to figure out a way to get him off. And, yes, this is kind of shadowed later. The piece below is very similar in a way. But it's it's a floating colony where here is there you know please not help in that one either. Anyway, uh, so the doctor eventually saves Martha and uh, brings her to the face of Bo, who used his power to sort of free up the sky. So then they can fly free, and New Earth can exist once again. New New York, New Earth, can exist once again. Is it just New, New New York that's like this, or is it everyone? I don't know. But yeah. Oh, I gotta go back, because there's a moment after Martha is taken, where David Tennant really shines. It's after Martha is taken, he's like, I'm going to get her, and when I do, I'm going to come back. And you better close up shop, because I am going to close you all down. Just the way that... David Tennant's face, he has that kind of face emotion. He's, and that's what makes David Tennant so good. This is like, yes. Yes, sir. You know, you do not mess with his companions. And that even goes to show you that even after only two trips, he has a connection so good that he cares. He already cares so much about her. Right? And he's trying to get her back. You know? Yeah foot itches. Hold on. I can't think at the same time I have an itchy foot. I don't know why. There's something itchy that I got it. So the face of Bo dies. Before he dies, he gives the doctor a message. He calls the doctor old friend. But he also gives the doctor a message. He says, you are not alone. Which will come back in a later episode. But, uh, yeah, and then face of boat dies. Doctor says, you know, this world it's gonna be fine. They have novice Haim, because she was good the last time that she was in control or something. But anyway, uh, and uh, yeah, the world everyone has left pharmacy town, and yeah, uh, but Martha refuses to get into the TARDIS before uh, until excuse me. He explains, because the, the face of Bo said that we are both the last of our kind. I am kind of confused once we find out who the face of Bo is. But I'll, I'll talk more about it in that episode. But, um, so, uh, so the doctor then has to explain that there was a war, time war, he's the only one left. There is no one else. I mean, he's not alone. She's like, oh, did he meet me? He goes, no. No, I, I don't think so. And she looks very sad. Like, oh, really? But, uh, so yeah, and I like how he's telling the story, and it's like, oh, the people watching this, they already know the story. They don't need the whole thing. So as he's explaining, kind of just moves away. Camera moves away and everything. And, yeah, we don't need to rehear the story. We know what happened. <clears throat> And it's better than just, oh, he told her off screen or something, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, this, this is a good episode. It's it's one of those that it's kind of an in the middle thing. It's not really, it's not bad. It's not really good. It's just good. It's in the middle. It's one of those. With a, I don't mind going back to watch it, but it's not one of those, like, uh, she says whatever it's called. And, Chloe Webber. Chloe Webber. That, I, that I'm just like, oh, I don't want to watch this one. 
You know what I mean? It's, it's not like that. So, then yeah. So, yes. Up next, we are going to the real New York in the 1930s with Spider-Man. What does that mean? I'm not going to tell you. Nope. Not going to tell you. You'll have to wait till my next video. Anyway, thank you for watching. I've been Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one. That was not planned. That's an itch. Oh, also let me know your thoughts on this episode. Sorry. I got a little confused. Uh, bye.